Good evening guys, welcome back to Arsenal Alex, I hope everyone is well and good. I don't know, wow, I'm feeling good at a review of Arsenal 1, Manchester United 0, or Manchester United 0, Arsenal 1. How you feeling? Hope you're good. They didn't let me down. I'm old enough to remember the last time was 14 years ago that we uh, beat them away and... Uh, yeah, let's just talk about the game. Let's get straight into it. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. Smash that red button now, please. <clears throat> so, how did we play? How, how was it? I thought from minute one until the end, we didn't look uh, in trouble. We looked assured. We looked uh, accomplished. And I think in the middle of the park, that is where it was won. And this is where Arteta got it right. And this is why we ne I never want to see Granit Xhaka at my football club ever again. Because when you take him out, who, the guy who can't pass, move, do anything at all, we look so much better. Because Party made Alneni look better. He 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 was fantastic. I, um, my three man in the match, I'm going to give, I've got three. Um, very similar. Party number one. Elneny number two, Gabriel number three. Those three stick out like a sore thumb. Elneny, well, I think what Party did that was really good, he said, Elneny, you go here, we'll go there, um, play that pass there, or go there. And I think Elneny knows that he's, he knows he's not a top world class player. So he needs to listen to Party, and Party's come in, and he's very intelligent he knows where to play so when we're on in, in the uncertainty and, as said, and we're attacking he knows where to be and he knows when to play deep when we're under pressure which he did more in the second half when we scored party dropped deep and anchored that line protected gabriel and holding because uh yeah that's what he did and he can drive forward and uh he can he had a shot and uh, yeah, I'll give him my man of the match. And I think if he doesn't start against Villa and Granite Jack is back in there, then there should be a criminal investigation because he, he, he's everything that we need. He's quick. He makes the right decision. He he points at other players. I don't know if you notice. He shows other people uh, where to go, especially El Nenny. And he was talking to Saka as well and helping him. And <clears throat> who, else, who else do you think was... Uh, uh, would you put in your top three so that's my top three man in the match and I think what I think the negatives are we didn't score more and this is a big problem and this is why I think Lacazette needs to go in January because he is not clinical enough and uh, Aubameyang needs to be start playing down the middle I'm very happy he got that goal he needed that penalty that's big pressure so well done to Aubameyang for getting that but he needs to click on and score because <clears throat> we didn't score in open play and that is worrying we look tighter in defense and that's thanks to gabriel monumental fantastic tackling tight on his man um the first incident okay so this is what i think it was never a yellow card when he got one it was a foul but probably the second one where he got away with it that was probably a yellow card so in the balance of play a yellow card was right for him and it was a penalty all day long. Um, Pogba just clipped the heels of uh, Bellerin, and yeah, that was a penalty. And uh, uh, Bamiyan called as a cucumber, bang, right hand corner, to hair, no chance. And I think even when we went 1 0 up, we didn't look like we were going to concede. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. But we need to be doing more to score goals. We should have uh, 1 2 or 3 0. Because when it's 1-0, they've always got a chance. And it's worrying, as you know, because with Arsenal, <clears throat> there's always a mistake there. And I think so I think Holding was weak today. He was sloppy. He wasn't quick enough. And I think Gabriel sort of saved his ass a few times. And this is where I think we've got a problem. Because who who's, who else would you put? Mustafi? No. Look what, We know what he's all about. Louise? No. I think Leno looks better without Louise. What do you think? I think he's more... I don't know because the two of those together, Leno and Louise, <clears throat> it's like uh, Laurel and Hardy, if you know who they are, a couple of comedians. So, yeah, I think 
we yeah we just need to work on our finishing because it look, we look better in defence. Well, I can't believe we're saying this, but in attack we're losing our impetus, and this is where I think in a while would have been good, that creativity, and um, yeah. But I'm buzzing. I'm happy. I'm glad we won. Fantastic. Uh, I actually had to look at the table. If we'd won four or five nil, we would have been like I think it's fourth, and, and we were thirteenth. So it's mad. There's nothing in it, and. Uh, yeah, let's uh, move on to Europa League and um, hopefully, well, I'm, I'm interested in the Europa League, yeah, if that is, we're through. Aston Villa is another big one next week, but fantastic, beat Man United, fantastic win and uh, well done boys and uh, onwards upwards, have a great Sunday night and uh, hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you guys soon, bye bye.